I am Anil Kumar and here is an application question on quadratic functions. The question is, a punter kicks a football, its height h of t in meters, t seconds after the kick is given by the equation h of t equals to minus 4.9 t square plus 22.54 t plus 1.1. Determine the maximum height of the ball. Now whenever you see maximum height, that means you need to do completing the squares method. So let's complete the squares and find the maximum height. We are given the function h of t equals to minus 4.9 t squared plus 22.54 t plus 1.1. You need a calculator to do this question. Let us first factor minus 4.9. So we are left with t squared minus. Now let's divide 22.54 by 4.9. So we get 23 over 5, which is 4.6. So we get minus, because plus divided by minus, 4.6 t. Right? Keep this 1.1 away. I also introduced square brackets here since they really help us to manage our equation. So we have minus 4.9 t square minus 4.6 t. Next step is take half of 4.6. Now half of 4.6 is 2.3. Add and subtract its square, right? That's the next step. Close the brackets plus 1.1 right now that makes first three terms as a perfect square that is completing the squares now if you want to get into details there are a couple of videos I'll give you a link you should go through those links and understand the steps involved here to complete squares okay now from here we can write this as t minus 2.3 whole square, right? So these three terms are perfect square that can be written as t minus 2.3. And now let us do what, find what is 2.3 square equals to. 2.3 square is equal to, in decimals, 5.29. So we have here minus 5.29 plus 1.1, correct. Now, we have to open the bracket. So when we open the bracket, 4.9 with negative sign gets multiplied with both the terms. So you get minus 4.9 t minus 2.3 whole square. Minus and minus becomes plus. Let's multiply 5.29 by 4.9 times 4.9 equals to 25.921. plus 1.1. So now we can combine these two constants. We get minus 4.9 times t minus 2.3 whole square plus, let's add 1.1 there, plus 1.1 gives us in decimals 27.021. Right? Now read the question once again. It says Determine the maximum height of the ball. At times, they will also ask you when, right? So at that time, you have to report time also. But in this case, maximum height. Since it is a parabola with minus here, that means we're talking about the ball, which is kind of, let me just sketch it here, uh, going like this. Okay. Now, the maximum height will be at this is the vertex 2.3 is the time actually and the maximum height is 27.021 in meters right so this is h of t in i should write meters here and that is time in seconds okay and this 1.1 is definitely the starting point when you plug in 0 for t you get initial height right so our answer is maximum height is 
is 27.021 meters right so at times you could also convert that to centimeters and write down your answer so that is how you can solve such questions i hope that helps thank you